We'll be talking with Ryan Newman, who this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway will power the number six Kohler Generators number four to be the uh, time this season. We've saw those blue and black colors on the car. So, Ryan, if you just want to talk a little bit about uh, getting to Atlanta this weekend and, and what you like about the track and, and what we can expect from the race. It's, it's just, you know, as a driver, they've, they've, they've threatened to repave it. And as a driver, we have twisted their arms to, uh, to make sure that they don't repave it. So um, really it's just a whole lot of fun because it's that old asphalt and uh, it's, it's, it's about as coarse as sandpaper as you could ever imagine. Talking about the speed there, Ryan, and, and obviously you talk about the kind of treachery of the track. I remember several years ago when, when I was at a qualifying session and, you know, you'd get two laps, but everybody was only taking one. And I remember asking Mark Martin, why, why is everybody only taking one? He told me that you can't hold your breath for two. But uh, I know it's a little bit of tongue in cheek. But, but speaking of that time frame, I think that would have been around the time you had won, you'd reeled off six straight poles there. So, you know, talk a little bit about that string there. And I know uh, that's kind of when you earned that Rocket Man name. Yeah, I, um, it's an honor for me to be tied with Buddy Baker at Atlanta. Uh, he taught me how to qualify. He taught me how to drive a lot of a lot of places. And Atlanta was was one of the first ones. Um, Rockingham, I believe, was the first, which is kind of a sister track to uh, to uh, Atlanta. But um, you know, really, um, we don't get to qualify anymore. But I will say, when I strap in the race car, I do thank Buddy uh, specifically at Atlanta. Just always had a lot of fun with him um, as a mentor and as a coach uh, to uh, to help me understand what I needed to do in the race car and out sometimes, but mostly inside the race car. And, and um, you know, it's like I said, there's so many parts of what we do at Atlanta as a driver that are the best. Looking at it, it's also one of the few tracks you have a, you have a truck win there, correct? Yeah. My, my first, my first truck race was at Atlanta and my uh, first truck win was that, that very same race. So um, that's, um, that's a, was a fun, well, it was a definite fun time. Back in the day, I want to say it was 2009. I don't remember exactly, maybe nine or 10. But um, I drove a KHI truck for Kevin Harvick and uh, was teammates with Hornaday. I, I think actually went on and won the championship. If it wasn't that year, it was the year before. And we had good stuff, uh, but we put it all together that day. And, and um, uh, to win in your first truck race was, was pretty cool. Uh, talking about heading back there, uh, <clears throat> you ran, I believe, 13th there last year uh, I think it's been a little under a year since you guys were, were in Atlanta and it's obviously a track where for a number of years uh, we went to a couple times and then only one time and then we'll be back there two times this year so uh, you know is that something you're looking forward to going there I know it can be a little bit different when you go to the same track twice in, in one year you're looking forward to making that trip twice this year yeah absolutely um, you know last year had lots of um, differences in it um, for me uh, this would have been a race that um, and I believe if I remember right uh, well, as I was going through all my medical stuff with the crash from Daytona, this was the race that started the uh, the end. Uh, it was I, sh I should say the um, the beginning of the end, I guess, with the pandemic, right? So we were gonna go, then we decided not to go, then we were gonna go on a different day, and we decided not to go, and and then we had a big long break uh, for whatever it was, you know, month and a half, two months or whatever, and and um, that allowed me time to heal. But this is one of the tracks that I was really gonna be upset at if I missed last year. So everybody missed it last year, and I, and to be able to get to go back twice this year is, a, as I guess, just a small way of making up for it. So, so as we said, one of Ryan's favorite tracks that'll be racing there on Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, that'll be on the, the Big Fox uh, network. And again, uh, Kohler Generators on the car with that great looking paint scheme. We, we look forward to seeing that for the first time since Daytona.